I'll tell you what, uh, there's uh, a New Year's Eve tradition in the nation's capital, and uh, Rick Shirelli is here to tell us more about uh, your big New Year's Eve party. You brought along your lovely daughter, Natalia, today. Hi, Natalia. How are I you? Good. Hi. Now, you've been doing this since Natalia was a baby. Yes. Yeah, or even before? Just, since she was just born. Is that right? Yeah, one of that the That was first, the first one? Well, one of the first places she went after being born was to the first New Year's Eve. So how, when's your birthday, Natalia? What month? October. October. So you were just a few months old when the first one came, came yeah. along, huh? How about that? Eh? Yeah. 20 years you've been doing this. Yeah. Every year at the same location? That's right. Ben Franklin Place, 101 Center Point Drive, from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Yeah. And uh, the best and only place to, for families to see fireworks on New Year's Eve. Yeah. And uh, they're going to be bigger and better than ever this year. Yeah. Uh, I think it's one of the few, if not the only, for a while at least, family oriented New Year's Eve party in, in the capital. Don't you think? Isn't that right? Yeah, it's true. It's a great place for people to go. They can bring their kids. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the whole idea, right? To give uh, families uh, an alternative to the other New Year's celebrations. And it's all free, except for if you buy food. Right. Uh, even that's cheap. It's but you're going to have food for sale there and all that? Yeah, and the, the money from that goes to uh, Students Against Impaired Driving. Right. And uh, it, because this whole thing started as an anti-impaired driving project 20 years ago. Is I that when you first started, that's what you were doing? Yeah, well, I was low guy on the totem pole on city council then. And right. ben, ben Franklin was mayor. And he said, OK, Gord Hunter, you're chair of planning. Al Loney, you're, you're chair of uh, finance and administration. Rick, you're chair of anti-impaired driving. Right. Okay, right. So he we gave you a nice <laughs> a chair anyway. Yeah. So we started this. And you know, dozens showed up the first year. But now, last year, we had the biggest attendance since amalgamation. Yeah, yeah, it gets bigger and bigger every year, even yeah. though it's 20 years old. And this is, uh, I just found out from your father that 20 is the Emerald uh, anniversary, right? So you got a Wizard of Oz theme going on? Yeah, yeah. and uh, we have, yeah, we have uh, Scarecrow will be there, Tin Man will be there, uh, lots of the uh, Wizard of Oz characters, and uh, we have a big... Uh, Wizard of Oz skating show at 6 p.m. Oh, yeah? On the rink at Ben Franklin Place. Nice. And, and uh, Stephanie from Over the Rainbow is going to be there to sing somewhere over the rainbow. She, yeah, she did uh, such a great job with that. Eh? She's an Ottawa girl, too. Yeah. So she's going to be singing that. Now, yes. are you going to be in costume, Natalia, or what's uh, what's your role this year? Uh, I'm going to be emceeing the talent are show. You? Yeah. Oh, nice. So, and you get everybody in the family gets involved in, in a certain way, right? Yeah, for sure. We all. That's basically all we do leading up to New Year's is getting ready is that for right? it, and it's lots of fun. You do a lot of yeah. planning for this sort of thing? Yeah. Yeah, when do you start getting things together, like, uh, during the year? Uh, right after, well, I mean, there's a lot of preparation even right. before Christmas, but right after Christmas, things really start yeah. going for our family. Yeah. yeah, I think it's nice uh, to have a family event like that, and I know you, your entire family is heavily involved in, in uh, the production of this thing. That's right, right from, uh, you know, everyone was out yesterday handing out flyers to remind people, yeah. uh, putting up signs, getting up at 5 a.m. to be on TV. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's, and it's been going on forever. Yeah, uh, I think what's happening here is uh, uh, Councillor Shirelli has actually got his daughter in training to take over in College <laughs> Ward when you're done. Because how long have you been a councillor in, uh, in this city right now? I'd have to add it up, but more than 20 years. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Good yeah. for you. Because when I was elected, I was the youngest ever elected. Well, yeah, exactly. You were at that point. Has yeah. Matthew Fleury uh, broken that record? No. Still no. you. Yeah. <clears throat> if I'd been elected when Matthew was, I would be on my third election. Oh, was that right? Because I was a teenager. <laughs> oh, my God. Sorry. <laughs> You're making it tough for me to find a spot to run in this town. You know? Okay. I, I can't go college. Well, I'll move anymore. aside gotta, for you. i got to move. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, thanks, you guys, so much for coming by. Thanks and have a wonderful time on, uh, on New Year's Eve. Where can we find out more, Rick? Just uh, so okay, people can... at rickshirelli.com. Yeah. Or at alcoholfreenewyears.com. Yeah. And people should uh, just show up, get there at six o'clock, yeah. see that skating show, and hear Stephanie. And uh, the fireworks wrap up at ten o'clock, which is midnight in Greenland. Right. And uh, we have a little video link with Greenland. Oh, nice. Which, by the way, fun fact: Greenland has the same population as College Ward. Is that right? Yeah. That's excellent. Listen, thanks, you guys, and have a great time. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year.